Okay, tubers, today we're going to do the, try and do the long-awaited test run of this, uh, pseudo invert classifier. Now, I'm not going to show you the whole thing, I'm going to clip show it. I'm going to stop the camera, start the camera, all that, because you know what, to tell you the truth, I don't really care if you guys believe it's real or not, all those skeptics. Oh, you turned it off, I wonder how long it took you to get it running. I don't give a cat, you know, this is it. If you believe it works, it works. If you don't, you don't. Then, if you don't, don't watch it. So, here we go. Here's the first tip I want to show you. I didn't build a lighting port into it uh, yet. Can you see down in there? Oh, well, you can see down there. There's some wood in there down near the core. What I like to do is I like to take a... I always have a lot of half-burned matches laying around from lighting my gas stove. So what I like to do is I like to take those matches put them uh, right down in the core like that. And then what I take do is I take a piece of paper and I light it and I drop it down in there. Wait for it to go and let it steam up for a while without the lid on. And when I got a good coat on, I pack stuff on top and I put the lid on. So the next shot you see will probably be with the lid on and it's smoking like crazy. It's Unfortunately, it's got a lot of moisture down in the bottom of the reactor because when it snowed, the first time I didn't have the lid on, so it's going to be interesting to see what happens there. Um, cyclone, radiator, and this vacuum pump is pretty amazing. I mean, it, I mean it really pushes. And I've got that hooked up to this dimmer switch. So you can And I have a pseudo manometer. If you watch down in the bottom of that, I raise up the pressure. You can see the uh, pseudo manometer action going on there. So the next video you'll see of this clip is probably it's smoking like crazy. Thank you. Okay. All right, here it is, smoking like crazy. It's only been on for a few minutes now. And uh, what's really interesting is I don't even have the fan up that high. And I've got some more gas coming out now. I'm going to turn my sweater out a little bit, try and get the core up to a higher temperature. There's no coals in this thing to begin with. So I don't even know what it's going to react to. It had water in the bottom. I don't know. So, yeah, unfortunately, my friend's borrowing my propane torch. So, Go ahead and cut it. Now, I was kind of afraid of this, but we're going to have to let it run for a while. If you can see there, i got some water dripping out. I think that's from my system sitting out here for so long and having snow on the bottom of the reactor. But the smoke is starting to become much more rich. And uh, I'm kind of using trashy wood here. It's just from the grinder at the wood chip. So really interested in seeing how that works. Let me hand this to my friend and maybe we'll try and light it. I doubt it will light. It's got a lot of moisture in it. Here.
Oh, it's just a little light. It seemed like there was some trees there. There's a little something in there, but it's still really moist. Okay, we're going to run up a bit here. So we're going to cut here and let it burn for a see if you get a flare again. That was immediately. It was supposed to kind of look I think it's got some kind of moisture in it again. Ooh, there's some gas in there. Let me turn it up a little bit. There we go. I'm having a lot of bridging issues with that deep wood. Alright, so, I can cut it. Uh, so anyway, we're going to shut down because the people around here are starting to get a little active. And it makes me nervous. Um, besides, I think my reactor was filled with too much water. It was coming out of the, the pipe over there. It was really, really uh, moist. It, it would flare at the very beginning. But, uh, I'm using some pretty trashy wood. I don't think that's an issue. Um, the problem was is that, I don't know if you can see all that black stuff right there, but when I first loaded the reactor, I had to open that, and I mean, water just poured out of there. So I'm not sure if it's still moist down there, if I'm getting steam. Um, had thoughts, secondary thoughts here, maybe how to improve. I've always thought that maybe a secondary cyclone after the radiator would be better try and drop out some more of the moisture but uh this is where we're going to leave off and so i'm going to post this even though it's a fail well i'll show you how much moisture was in this stuff i'm pretty sure that uh i mean yeah I, that's only like half as much as what came out the first time i opened it so we're gonna i'm gonna leave this open as a matter of fact and see if I can get this system to dry out and then we'll have a second shot at this. Thank you. Bye. Okay, I wanted to show you guys that it's not a moisture issue. I'm having some bridging situations here, so we like refilled it. Okay, so we're going So yeah, it's a, it's a bridging situation. If I had my token choice, it should be easier. Yeah, I think we're starting to bridge out now. So yeah, see that's the, that's the situation. Try it one more time. Looks like it's already bridging out. Yeah, see, so it's, it's, it's a bridging situation. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys that. I spliced that in somewhere. And an afterthought, that's probably why the G3 is going to be better. It solves all those bridging situations. Thank you.